So, see if people come on. We're telling more. Okay, we got Suzanne's, two G's Dill, Char and Lex, Cryptonaut. So, since I'm being lied about about my health issues, um, I just, I just like these. These are my pill bottles that I. Like, five pills every day. Blah, blah, blah. I freaking hate it. So you can you can stare at my pill bottles. Because I really don't want to show my face. Because I've been crying a lot during the day. Um, you know, I've... The past couple weeks, I've been in a lot of pain. Um, I've been very angry at the world and when I'm angry that's when I know I need to self isolate um we have been getting attacked by a lot of people lately and I haven't even said anything or done anything to deserve said ton lashing. And it, 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 it just really hurts to feel all this pressure in your chest like you want to burst. Because people really want to lie about me. Um, people really want to just get a reaction and see me angry and it's like it's not nice to try to trigger someone when they have mental illness it's not nice in fact I would say it's abusive to try to trigger someone so Jason he's with me yes I am and he was like, honey, we are being spiritually attacked. Yeah. And I was like, okay, we need Ephesians. Because I know if you're being spiritually attacked, um, that's when you need to go to Ephesians because it's basic spiritual warfare book is in Ephesians. Um, I, I, I think this is important, you know, because I know there's a lot of people, they're just, they're frustrated at the world, and like I am, uh, you know, the whole Palace or Hamas and Israel war is just tearing my heart apart uh, because it's like one of the soft spots to me because it's like you're all brothers you're all the seed of Abraham and you're killing each other and bombing each other and and, and raping each other and there's no love between Israel and Palestine. There's no love there. And it's been going on for 3,000 years. And you, you'd think people would wisen up, smarten up, uh, learn how to use some diplomacy. Um, but they, ha they haven't in 3,000 years. So... You, you know, I agree with God when he says that Israel is stiff-necked. Because, yeah, it, 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 it's time for you guys to stop hurting each other and forgive each other. Because you're both to blame. Hands down, you're both to blame. Uh, and it just, it really, 
it really hurts me so much because it's like I love the Palestinian people and I love the Israeli people at the same time. Like I love them so much. And seeing this conflict, I, I like I can't even see it without bursting into tears. Because it's just like why? Why fight anymore? Like me, I've I've given up fighting completely. Um I've I've given up with contention. I've just given up <clears throat> and just completely surrender to peace and solitude and serenity. Um so seeing that conflict that they're having is just heartbreaking because it's like they're brothers and they should love each other um let's just get into Ephesians chapter 1 Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as hath he chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. He chose us. He chose us. And if you like it or not, you're, you're fighting and grumbling and being hateful in front of the Lord. And he blesses us still having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath proposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. That's a hard one to take in, I'll just be honest, because it's like, I was not predestined to a good life. Mm. And all the good in me is through him that we should be to praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that ye believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom, and revelation in the knowledge of him 
spirit of wisdom. What's my name mean? Wisdom. And revelation. That's crazy, man. I know, right? That's really crazy. The spirit of wisdom and revelation <laughs> and the knowledge of beautiful. him. Dude, that's Two us. Witnesses. Yeah. The eyes of your... have to drop the gauntlet and say that at some point. Oh, God, people are going to think we're crazy. Yeah, I know, they are, but if it's true, it's true. That's true. That's another sign of it right there that you just read. <laughs> That's another s wisdom and revelation. Rev and wisdom. Holy crap. Did your mind just get blown out? I know, right? He's talking about us. That's insane. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, word, who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that fill, filleth all in all and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience mm. among whom also we all had our conversion in times past in the lust of our flesh and fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others but god who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with christ by grace ye are saved and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember, that ye being in the time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and with God, without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so make in peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And he came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore 
ye no more, strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye, ye also are builded together for the habitation of God through the Spirit. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the disposition of the grace of God, which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power unto me who am less than the least of all the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to that the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to eternal purpose, which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bowed my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by a spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye be rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height and to know that the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Mm. Mm. I think I'll leave it there. That's a good, that was yeah. a great idea to read that. Yeah. I felt I, that, man. I... That was great. I am a believer in Christ. <sighs> first and full. I am a believer in Christ. Yes. I will always be a believer in Christ. Regardless of any man saying I'm not a real Christian or not. <sighs> I've been lied about. Slandered. Kicked in the face. And all I've ever done was try to love. Yeah, I'd get angry and I'd say mean things. Everybody does, really. Well, when you're kicked around, yeah. Yeah. I'm human. I have my limits. Mm -hmm. But I love Jesus. And I try to strive 
to be like him. Me too. I give up fighting. I quit it. I quit fighting. I surrender fully. Mm -hmm. Same here. There's no need to fight. There, it's baseless. It's just two egos. Yeah. Going back and forth. And I think the best thing that's ever happened to me was ego death. I suggest everyone go through ego death. Yeah. The first dragon, Dr. Bill Deagle. <laughs> huh? Dr. Bill Deagle, I was a huge fan of his. I don't, I don't know, he might have passed. I don't know. But he used to say, the mankind's first dragon is the ego. You mm -hmm. have to kill your ego before anything else. Yep. And then you can actually progress into spirit, in, in the spirit. If you have, and, 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 and the guy, the, you know, Gary, is absolutely guilty of that. Mm-hmm. He, his ego is so pumped. He's like, he, he wants to look like Triple H and stuff, but his ego is the size of Triple H. Yeah. He's, his, that, that's what makes, and I'm not even being this in a condemning manner. I'm just saying that is his issue. Yeah. He would be a good Christian if his ego didn't get in the way and create all of these things that inflate him. Yeah. That's it. But it doesn't inflate him. It actually makes him small. No, but in his mind, it's making him look amazing to yeah. the world. No. It's, the, it's, it's, del, it's, it, it's delusions. Jesus That's, tells you to be humble. He's deluded. Unfortunately, he's deluded. We, had, we got an amen in there. That's beautiful. Amen. That's some church there. Amen. Can a preacher get an amen? Amen. Oh my God. Jesus is great. Yeah. I I pray to him and he 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 gives me what I need. Always. He does. You asked for pizza and that nobody gave pizza forever and then every day I was coming back with the what? Pizza. Every day and then you didn't want pizza though or you're like the Jews with the quail. <laughs> I have too much pizza, Lord. Now I want Chinese. <laughs> and then he gave you Chinese. <laughs> There's your Chinese. Okay. He's good that way. Yes, he is. He's always there. He's never not there. Yes, he what if we put the... Mm. Over? There we go. There's pretty girl. There we go. Maybe if I... Goldberg was the best. Goldberg? Bill yeah. Goldberg? The wrestler? Whoopi? Whoopi Goldberg? Goldberg? Yeah, are you talking about the color purple? Maybe, that, yeah. That new color purple I so want to see. Good music. I always, like, like... Ever, like a little girl, I remember that. Like, we had, like, barely any VHSs. We, like, yeah. in, in the 80s. So it was like the color purple, E.T. Oh, you had the color purple on VHS? Yes. That's cool. I saw it in Blockbuster all the time. So I grew mm -hmm. up watching that movie, and I very much love that story. Mm -hmm. It's a great movie. Oh. So I, I was like, I knew it was the color purple before they, they even, it even said the color purple. I was like... Is that the color purple? Yeah. Yeah, the wrestler. I, I, He's yeah. talking about Bill Goldberg. <laughs> All right. Bill Goldberg is the shit. I love him. But anyway, Whoopi Goldberg was <gasps> incredible in the color purple. She's great, yeah. Ah. She's awesome. Amazing in the color purple. Mm -hmm. But see, back in that day, Whoopi started getting, like, really huge and then there was like ghost and yeah like everyone her wanted show to was immediately huge popular yeah. yeah for some reason everyone wanted a little whoopee in their life oh no i thought you were talking about oprah whoopee Wh wait whoopee had a talk show 
Whoopi had a talk show? Yeah. No. Oprah. Did she have a talk show? Well, she's on The View, but... I don't think she ever had a... She should have had a talk show. She had The View. She had Star Trek. And she had Star Trek, Guinan, <clears throat> which is one of my favorite She characters. won an Academy Award for Ghost. She did, didn't she? Yeah. That's a beautiful movie. It makes that me cry, That is a though. beautiful movie. It makes me cry bad. Oh, my Yeah, love. that's my mom and dad's song. My darling. My mother, whenever she saw that movie, Niagara Falls. <gasps> Christmas is coming. Yeah, we're gonna say we, Scrooge. Should, we should watch Scrooge anyway. Yeah, we should watch Scrooge anyway. Screw it. Why not? See Carol Kane as a little yeah. fairy. I had a crush on her a little bit. I when I was a kid. Her glitter that she used in that movie. I, it was always fabulous. Loved. Oh my god. Fabulous. I loved her makeup in that movie. It was really good, yeah, actually. <laughs> no, that instrumental version of of the Righteous Brothers uh Unchained Melody. Mm -hmm. That Literally, I can't listen to that without crying. The string version of that, they do a... You know what I'm talking about, right? I think so, yeah. It's way too much. It's like the, the, the keys that are hit. But that was my mom and dad's song. It's a good song. They need to bring back that. Shit. So, guess what? I, I had this email, and it said that... <laughs> I should get off YouTube and all these social medias because I hurt people. I'm like, who? What? Who have you hurt? I don't know who I hurt. Who? Who? No, like they just say these things, so they got a name who. Who the hell have you hurt? Okay, like there's yeah, there's nothing. That we're done. There's Gavin Kit Kats and he did. he's in the room, folks. We got Gavin. Maybe G Man doesn't like us speaking about him online, but yet he speaks about us constantly. Well maybe no. maybe maybe because we're not who they want us to be. They try to put hate on us so we can like have an like a reaction to it so they could say we're no, the bad guy i but, don't know but they insist that we actually do watch them i don't watch them i know and neither do i but they insist what was the that... last thing we watched Jeez. well i i, I don't even remember i went recently to draven's channel to contact sorry him. what i'm on muscle relaxants and gabapentin so my mind's pretty erased at this moment. Yeah, it happens, but you can still communicate. I can. You're fine. I hope I can. You're coherent. Okay. Thank you, CryptoNot. Hey, CryptoNot, if you got any good crypto tips, because uh, I'm trying to get into cryptocurrency, okay? You give me those tips because I'll take them. I have a Robin Hood account. Robin Hood kicks butt. He made money on it. Already. I got like 286 in there or something right now because of that. And that's awesome. I started something. I earned it in in answering questions correctly. They gave you free crypto. Uh, Robin don't, Hood. Don't ask me how I'm earning money. It's annoying. I'm annoyed right now. I'm not saying don't, you don't else. have to be. Yeah. Uh, oh really? Oh my God! I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Awesome. That's awesome. Neurotin. What? Neurotin can be very addictive. What is neurotin? Think it's. I don't, want, I don't think I'm oh. on the right. Let me see. Cyclobenzaprine. Yeah, I have the cyclobenzaprine, and then 
The Gabba Pumpkin. No, isn't it? don't be sorry. Oh, Gabby is Neuron. It's not addictive. No. That's that's not true. That's not true. It's the least addictive of all the pain medications. Go read it yourself. No, it's not. What in the name of Christ? I'll be smart for a minute. Oh my God. You're fine with your gabapentin. Like, it's fine. Oh. There you go. Gabapentin isn't a narcotic or federally controlled substance, but it is a regulated and recognized as a controlled substance in certain states. Ha! Mm. It's considered a narcotic in my state. Get the hell out of here. Stop trolling. Oh. Stop trolling. Don't troll. You're gonna get blocked, you know. I, nah. Nah. Get out of town. I'm not dealing with that shit. <laughs> I can't deal with it anymore. I really can't. I can't do it anymore. Do you know how stressed out I've been? Too stressed out. We need to turn on some lights, bro. Okay, I got you covered. Do you want the O-ring? Nah, no, man. No, the thing open. I'll just take that off the light. So I can see people better. Ow. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but... I'm so sick of people trying to tell me what I should do and what I shouldn't do with my own fucking life. Especially when it's dealing with my own mental and physical health. It annoys me. What? Oh my god, I forgot I had that! Oh. Yeah, bro. Oh. That's it. That's a good treat. Yes. I want a little piece at least. Double chocolate mm -hmm. chunk. They're really good. That's that's treats. that's gonna be a good snacky Treat, snack. Foodie treats. I'm forty years old. Who are people coming up to some forty year old woman telling her what the fuck she should do with her life? I know I look like I'm in my twenties. I can't help it, but I'm fucking forty. And I'm not gonna let anyone Anyone tell me what I should and should not do with my own fucking life. I'm 40. What music do y'all like to jam to? We, we jam to all different types of music, actually. I always hate that answer when people give it, though. Really? Yeah. Well, we do. We, like, I know that. We listen to Madonna and then Mozart. And then international different music. Yeah, even native, like... Native music. Um, yeah, native music, yeah. Uh, pagan worship. Pagan music, yeah. Uh, and then, and then 80s. Pink Floyd, Pink Rush. Fl yeah. Rush is really good. 
I had a kid I knew in school that he was like, why don't you listen to Rush? And I'm like, because they suck. And he's like, what? Rush is not. Uh, Rush no. kicks ass. Rush is really good. The mean, mean pride. So I'd say Analog Kid, that's my favorite song. No, no, no. Analog Kid. My dad loved Rush. He had the Rush album. I have to say, though, quick, to a friend of mine, if he sees this, I'm sorry to Matt Sanderson, because you were right about Rush being really good, and I was just blind. I was totally blind. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Rush is a good band. They're really good. The drummer is insane. They can't make music like they used to. What do you mean? Well, we we haven't really listened to a newer Russia. I don't think they put one out for a long no, time. No, I know Depeche Mode keeps coming out with albums. I know that. I wanted all of their new shit. <laughs> Everything Depeche Mode. I don't like new music. It's noise to me. Do I sound old? Yes, I do by saying that, but it is what it is. Not really, though. You like, you like what's his name? Uh, uh. Lil, Lil Nas X. Lil. I do like Lil Nas. Yeah, you like him. You like... I'm gonna ride into the open road. Oh God, what? Billy Ray Cyrus is gross. I like some Cardi B. Car you like some... Exactly. Nicki Minaj. See, you like... You don't not like me. But see, stuff. that's more like too... Like... No, that's not true. They're, they're big now. Okay. Yeah. Megan the Stallion. Don't forget Metallica. No, they're asking, what do we listen to? You tell them your main genres that you like. I... 80s. Is that number one, 80s? I, I like 70s and 60s music. Okay. Uh, high folk. Up I like folk. I like classical, too. Folk? You like, okay, but you're, Blues. I'm what's your number one genre? Rock? God, Soft I don't rock? know. I like all music. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'll give you my answers, because Shani's like, I like everything. I do. My answers are, number one is going to have to go to industrial metal because my number one favorite band of all time for 20 years was nine inch nails they're considered industrial metal so by default that would be my number one genre because i that nine inch nails was everything to me but if my number two genre would be how about my number one alternative okay so like nirvana uh, uh pearl jam Pearl Jam? The Do you love Pearl Jam? Yes. I'll, you love them. The Foo Fighters? They yeah, they're all... Uh, they're alternative. Okay. Linkin Park. They're alternative. Yeah. That, uh... Well, <laughs> how? New Metal. Smash and Pumpkins? No, Linkin Park is New Metal. Okay. Smash and Pumpkins? They're alternative. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I also, I have to put metal, like, my number ones are metal, because it's industrial metal, right? So, Ramstein, like, absolutely. I love me some Ramstein. Ramstein all day. I literally had a disc, one disc, that had every single Ramstein album on it, and I would pop it in my car and just hit shuffle. And I married a German man, you know he loved Ramstein. Well, I'm German, I'm Anglo-Saxon German. Oh yeah, you do, you do have German in you. I'm, I'm Saxony-Germany, bro. That's where the girth came from. The German part of my uh, lineage gave me girth. It gave you kinkiness too. Du hast mich. That's, but see, that's their weak, oh, de no, frock. that's oh, lit, de frock. okay, <laughs> that's literally their lowest bar, is Duhas, no. which is not a bad song. My favorite is Onadesh. That's one of my favorites, too. Oh, no, no, yeah. The, uh, uh, Pussy was like their, one of their worst songs, but that video is, if you're horny, watch it, that's a really good video. If you're into that. That's when I learned that you liked vaginas. You you, you put that on the Google Plus, and I'm like, oh. You, did you think I didn't like vagina before that? Like, what the fuck? 
I thought you were a eunuch. <laughs> Incel. I I wasn't I wasn't voluntarily celibate, really. I just didn't grab for it. Well, thanks because <laughs> you thought about it a lot, and hey. Yeah, I it did. helped me the, out. That's the Revenge of the Nerds thing. That is the Revenge of the Nerds. That's Revenge of the Nerds we thought about. Okay. We think about doing it all day. So that when it a actually happens, we're like, what? yeah, we thought about it a lot. So it's time to do it, and it it turns out really good. And it's fun. It's lots of fun. It's, it's... Foreplay is really good. <sighs> yeah. No, no, I got my balls, man. Everybody knows that. No, I no. got, I got them. I, like, it's, it's spiritually speaking, a eunuch. Like, but I, yeah, I didn't screw around. I didn't go to the bar and then bring a chick back. I, I thought about it though. I did definitely. I did it. Huh? I did it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking about doing it from time to time, but it was never a drive where I was like, because I bought, I bought a real girl tor torso, and that really did help lust. I dressed it up in fishnets and, like, ripped them up and shit, and it was fun, you know? It's really good for that type of thing. Okay. It's a, it's a sex uh, outlet. Okay. I think it's healthy, you know, if you're, if you're single and you don't got a chick. Thank you, Chubbs. Chubbs seems cool. I You want to do a show? He was asking me to do a show. If you want it, yeah. I don't care. I've seen your avatar before, but you've been nice. I just don't care anymore. I'll do whatever. Go on drag not. I'm thinking about going on drag Yeah, do not. it. Go on drag. Screw it. I'm think Drag, I'm thinking about going on your show. Yeah, do it. I know... You, you would love that shit. You definitely should do it. Because, look, this dude, this other guy, the Christian. The Christian. The dog shit that he's thrown at this point is way beyond anything. Because I was scrolling through his videos, and it's ridiculous. Hi, Gavin, uh, baby This boy. is a channel for Jesus. What are you reaping and sowing? Uh, oh, drama. I know. Oh, there's a Gavin Kit Kat. Read the Gavins. Look at this boy. Look at the boy. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna look at you, Daddy. He's so cute. He has toe beans. Look at the toe beans. Another name of Gavin Kit Kats is. Gavin toe beans. Oh, <laughs> oh he's like, so those are my cute. toe beans. Yeah, he's like they're my toe beans. They get cold and we have to warm them. He kind of has cold. They're toe a little beans. cold. They're, they're little cold toe. Cold toe beans. And then you warm them up, and he's like, "Oh, that feels better." And he has a heart on his ear. He does. He has a beautiful heart on his ear. God painted Gavin Kit Kats in an amazing way. You're a boy. We're so blessed to have this baby. You know? I know. He's such a good boy. This is an amazing boy. What did he say there? We'll talk to him. We'll set some. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. This is a boy. This is a boy. He's a little baby. He is. There's no I. He's... Oh, my God. My buddy Mike had a, a gray tabby, and he said, "If you meet my cat, you're gonna love you're gonna love cats. That's it's tabbies. Yep, tabbies are the best temperament in cat, in my opinion. They're so amazing. You know, you get to wilder ones like watermelon, and they got a two. Yeah." Watermelon's sassy though. She She's likes there. to back talk. She back talks me constantly now. <laughs> it's like, what's your deal? She's got major catitude. That's true. You know what I miss doing? I miss playing Guitar Hero. 
I probably couldn't even play it now because of wet brain. It'd be like I'm off time all the time. Cling, 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 cling. Screwing the whole thing up. Reaction time. You miss... I love Guitar Hero. Mm. I played that for years. Years. I've been so busy doing what I've been doing, I miss playing Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. You want to play that again, Animal Crossing? Yeah, Do I it. miss it. Games and crime. Crime and games. Maybe. Do it. I don't know. Oh my god, that sucks. I'm sorry. Take it back. Take the mattress back. <laughs> what, who the hell is, expects you to buy a stinky mattress? Take it back. That's BS. <laughs> smelly mat, smelly mat, oh what god. are on you? I want my tattoos, too. Huh? I want my ta my tats. My, I'm not getting many. I'm not going to be like a freak with the... I can't... Not nah, sorry I said that. People with lots of tattoos look fine. Sorry. I But I'm not doing that thing. I want to get a crown of thorns on my leg. I might, like, thigh almost. Like, here. I want to get a crown of thorns there. I got a design that I designed to circle it with a cross in it. And it's got Alpha, Omega, uh, Aleph, and Tav. And I want them on both shoulders. And on the one on my right hand, I want John 316. And the one on my left hand, I want Isaiah 53.5. Sweet. He was bruised for our transgressions. It was on my cross that I had that I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, what happened to That was crazy time for a little bit. That wet All brain. that stuff is a blur. Yeah, it was. There's lots of blurs for me, too. I was so delusional, man. I was having open hallucinations. <laughs> there's there's lots of blurs oh for me God. now. Like, all people knew from that time from me was... Scientist Sam told me this. He said, I laughed my ass off for, for like an hour straight because you were sitting in the bed and you clearly farted and shit your pants. And you, <laughs> and you just sat there... <laughs> <laughs> that was wet brain. One you good. should get one that says property of Shanny. No. Property of Shanny. A tattoo that says property of Shanny. I would do that, yeah. No. But I would do that. I'm not like that. I like that. But here's the thing. I'm getting a marriage band, too. That's another one. I'm getting a wedding band with S-E-E, -E, her initials, with my last name, which it's going to be. Right? You want the name, right? Amen. Okay. I do. I know it's kind of a shitty last name. No, I think it's cool. Really? Yeah. It seems Russian. Like a Russian Jew name. Igrov. Uh hmm. Russian Jews. That's why I thought it was possible I was an Ashkenazi Jew, but I'm not. I have zero Jew. None. Jew free. Hi, Gabby. I kind of wanted to be an Ashkenazi Jew. Oh, my God. I love Carrie, Board Housewife. Good. That's cool. And? You can like who you want. That's fine. If you, if you, if you agree with her, finger tattoos are uncomfortable. Yeah, I bet they are. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, Shani got one. I got... Two on my thumb. Yeah, you got two on your It thumb. wasn't that bad. You know? I definitely want to get a cross on my middle finger, though. <laughs> so when I flip someone off, you see the freaking cross? Instead of F you, it's Jesus bless. <laughs> Where the hell is Jules? We have to get her in here. Is she not on Instagram, the Yoshi? Did you see that Yoshi wrote you? No, I didn't even open it. I'm going to be honest. She's being sweet. Good. She's being a good Yoshi. Well, I, I, look, we were friends for like two weeks, or maybe a month. I don't know, Jules, you tell, you tell me. We were, we were friends for like 
A month, maybe. Yeah, I know. And she's like, I'm going to take you to Taco Bell with me. And I'm like, okay, cool. And, and we were chatting for a little bit. And it was sweet. She was a sweet girl. And But I made a video to her saying, you got to get out of this drama shit because it's going to ruin your mind. And I was talking to her like a, you know, a dad almost. Or a big brother. Baby. You know, not a dad. <laughs> you see how he reaches out for me. Yeah. He's like, I need to touch both of you. He's a good baby. This Gavin. He's a good Gavin. He's really sweet. He is. Couldn't have a better Kikots. Yes. <clears throat> He's a good boy. I'm just done. Mm. With the bullshit. Mm. For, like, lies. I That stuff I don't... I'm not going to deal with it. Yeah, I'm not down with that bullshit. It's stupid. No, I'm sick of, like, G-Man's little minions coming after us. Oh, my God. Because he's mad because we didn't go into his manipulation. We didn't buy it. He bothers me. Uh, no, we ain't begging at all. No begging. But if you would like to, you can. Listening, it never I'm hurts. Listening to Ken's theme song on YouTube. The metal version of it. It's really good. I ain't listening to shit. You're a good girl. I am. I love the buns, though. This is real sweet. <laughs> These loose buns. It's like playful. You know? Top knot buns. They're really cute. You look like the one girl in, in, like, Darkstalkers, which was a game on, like, Sega Saturn, that it was in the arcade. Really? Darkstalkers. Or, uh, there, and there's a Street Fighter girl, a Buki, I think her name is. You look like them. <laughs> it's very cute. They're cute buns. My baby. We have a boy that has toe beans. Gavin, you're my baby. I love you. His ears go up. Yes, I love you. He hears love, and then his, his ears go up. Do you want fish? Boy. That that really gets him. You want food? Do you love food, Gavin? He's full. <laughs> He's had good foods. He's like fish? Yeah, and his, his coat is so soft because of the fish. He loves his fish. Mm -hmm. He's like, I hear good words. <laughs> He's such a beautiful baby boy. Yeah. I have a baby that looks just like yours. He's so sm smart, too. Aw. Uh. Thank you for saying I'm looking cute, by the way. You you liked Blanca? All right. Yeah, I had a lot. I knew a lot of guys at the arcade that rocked Blanca all the Did time. Did you guys ever talk about having a baby together when you first got together? No, that was already said and done. She was tied up. Two bows tied up. Huh? The question that they asked. Did you ever discuss having... Oh, my God, my mind is going through that blank stuff. Oh, okay, sorry. Got you. I apologize. That's fine. I think I'm going to have to leave and put my head down, because I'm like... That's what muscle relaxant does. Um, you say that. Yeah, it, it destroys my ability to think... Which is not a bad thing, because I'm usually thinking, like... All the time. Thank you, Michelle Ann. We love prayers. Trust me. <laughs> you probably keep us alive. You might be one person that's praying for... Well, no, my uncle would pray for us, too. I love people who pray. Yeah. Thank you. That's very sweet. And that stuff works. It does. So we're checking out... Um, Peace Maranatha... You have anything you need to say? Um, 
I don't know what the hell the Republican Party is. MAGA. If that's what it is, then we're done. That's why you register as an independent, so you don't have to choose any sides. Johnny Silverhand would say, burn it down. It's so bad. There's nothing good left about the system. No. It just oppresses people. Johnny Silverhand would say, burn the city down. Maybe we'll get good people in. Yeah, start over. But, but personally, I think we're going down like Rome. Yeah. And it's going to be the Chinese century. I'm fine with that. They earned it because they plan. Yeah. They're smart. Yeah. They're brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Nutmeg. Both parties are stupid and corrupt. Yeah, that's it. That's where I'm at. I'm a registered Republican, but that's true. <laughs> well, I was a registered independent. I'm not registered. Mm -hmm. I need to register because I'm not voting for someone. Anyway, peace and Maranatha. Oh. Can we be nice? Yeah.